Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500. Welcome back to the second video on, what did we call this project? Beige girl. Was it beige boy? I can't remember. Anyway, welcome back to it. There she blows. So today's Friday. Uh, Connor's day to come and see what he can do with the car. Uh, quick recap on uh, what he's come to do or what he will be coming to do. So one thing uh, I wanted to tell you that um, you may, obviously you've now hopefully found that the sound quality has improved. At the moment I'm using the ordinary um, plug-in mic, lapel mic, uh, but I've also got a wireless mic as well now which I will use when I'm doing specific things on the car. So sound should have improved and also you might find that the video picture has improved because I'm now recording in 4K. So it's taken me longer to upload obviously because 4K is a lot larger, but hopefully you can see my handsome face in more clarity. Anyway, let's get on with the car. So, as you know, it's all a bit of a two and eight down here. Um, I've got, I bought a new steering rack, even though, as we know, which I didn't think of at the time, was obviously the track rod end will undo in there. Um, uh, so you could just replace this piece, but hey ho, uh, I bought the whole thing. If he wants to just replace those ends, he can do, but I don't see why he would. The only bit I didn't get was the anti-roll bar. I'm hoping that's okay. When I bought the, uh, I'll show you the picture on the uh, the listing from eBay. When I bought the subframe, let me show you the subframe. I thought I was getting everything on it. Um, so here's the subframe. Uh, and what it actually came with is just the two bottom arms. Uh, which of course I've already bought a new bottom arm anyway, so I don't need those. Yeah, I only need it one side anyway, but hey ho. Um, but in the picture, it showed the anti roll bar, it also showed the steering rack. So I thought I was getting all of that, and it was sitting in my porch wrapped up for two days, and then I thought, I suppose I better have a look. So I took it all apart and found out that it only actually included those bits. So I paid £120 for something that I could have got for 50 quid thinking that I was getting everything so I bought one I bought a steering rack yesterday or the night before yes the night before on eBay from RLR Autos in Essex who I've bought stuff off many many times he's, he's just by Lakeside Shopping Centre so he's not too far away um, and I went up there after work yesterday and picked it up yesterday evening uh, that cost me 30 quid so it's not too bad um, as I say, I, I would have shown you the picture by now, but you'll see. But what, what I did is I read I read the listing again, and it said uh, subframe, and then it said just bottom arms. And I'm, I'm whether we added that bit afterwards or I missed it, I don't, I'm not sure. But it was a bit annoying as I wasted a couple of days. But uh, there it is. It does actually say on there new shape, which it didn't on the listing. But I'm assuming, oops, I'm assuming they're probably exactly the same. Um, there's no reason that it should be different and it was listed as a as the correct one so let's hope it is the correct one otherwise we'll be in stuck so yeah so that's that uh, in there we've got a new drive shaft which I'm yet to open so let's hope that's all there although I have got the old drive shaft from the uh, from the other car from the white pop if you remember so that's it what else have we bought let's have a look so we got some paint to do the wheels as you know, the wheel trims, I'm going to paint them. So I've got super gloss, plastic coat, white paint. I've got some lacquer, which I have already got, but I was running out. Uh, I've also got some white plastic primer, as someone suggested doing it in white primer. So that way, if the top coat gets, uh, gets damaged, you've got white primer underneath. And of course, if you don't rub them down too much, you've also got the white, the original white underneath. So I bought some of these uh, proper clips to use on the boots rather than using uh, generic Jubilee clips. I thought I'd buy some proper ones. Uh, I've got some lithium molly grease to put in inside the boot once uh, once it's all done. Uh, got me headlight repair kit uh, and I've also got some uh, gearbox oil. These are 
some lights that go in and stuff, bottles. There's nothing to do with the car, but I bought those as well. Um, and I got some clips for my 500X and some more clips for the 500X. Um, that's it, yeah. So that's everything, I think. Oh no, what else we got? Hang on, I haven't got the keys with me. But uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So he will be here in about two hours time and then we can get on with it. So someone was saying on the first video that they saw that what they thought was a, a brake line damaged. So I thought I'd have a look. So I can't actually see anything anywhere. I don't know where they were referring to, but I'm looking at all the brake lines. They might, I don't know if they were, maybe they were thinking of that. They saw that in the video, it's just a bit of tape around it. That's just a clip, so that's not the brake line itself, that's just a clip. She's now clipped back on properly. So I can't see anything else anywhere where the brake line's damaged. That's obviously the ABS sensor which needs to clip in somewhere. Where's that? I can't see the clip for that. I'm sure we'll figure out where it is, but yeah, no, I can't see. Uh, I can't see any damaged brake lines anywhere. So, uh, yeah, is that the bit you were thinking of? Don't know. I can't see anything else. <laughs> Yeah, I tried to fish it out with the uh, magnetic tool, but I got it. I got hold of it once, but and it wouldn't come out. There it is. Oh no, that was a. It's in there somewhere. Yeah. Right, anti roll bar, four bolts.
Should we take that and get it out of the way? Yeah, we don't need anything else off it, do we? I don't think so, no. It's just the lower arm that was left on it. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, well, I've got a new one. We can put the other ones on if you want. Or the, I've got one brand new one and then it, the subframe came with two. Oh yeah. So you can use those if you like rather than the new one. Yeah. The what, sorry? That little grommet. Oh. Oh, yeah. On the other side, oh, maybe I'll just. just can't see it. I 
Oh, don't worry, I'll figure it out when I'll do when I do the brakes. I'll just put it up here. Oops, sorry. Hello. Okay, yeah, sorry. I thought it was yesterday, didn't I? No, not at all. I'm just finishing up with Paul's. And then I'll... Um, but I'm just about to literally put it on the floor and then I'll, I'll be over. I was recording as well, oh. I didn't realise. <laughs> Like on the ground, it's been up on axle stand for so long. Right, okay, so. Where are we? I'm going to put the bolts in up to the bumper temporarily, just hold it in place as it was before. So Connor's gone home now. Well, actually, he's not gone home, he's gone to a, someone I sold a car to some while ago. Who uh, thinks they've got a leak somewhere, i.e. a hose or radiator or something like that? So he's gone to see, see them, sort that out. Um, it's all done, all back together, obviously, as you can see. I'm just temporarily going to put that down, like so. Just got that on temporarily. Now we're going to make sure it goes backwards and forwards, of course. As you can see, it's moved so. I have already done it, but I'm just going to show you. Excellent. Have a quick look at what we've uh, taken off here. Look at the state of that. 
so that's where it had come out so the knuckle there would come off that's where it had broken that's obviously the old drive shaft and then the other bit is in there I'm not even going to pick it up because it's all covered in oil but that's the other bit there so that's the end that goes onto the into the uh, gearbox and that's the uh, the cup um, so yeah that's the old obviously the old uh, steering rack which we've replaced I'm not going to bother keeping it I got the new steering rack for 30 quid so I don't re really don't see the point in keeping that so I'm going to get rid of that so that's it job done we got those now as you saw Connor using those um, old play mats that he got for free so he's given those to me to use and I think that's about it so the gearbox has been topped up took quite a lot of oil actually so we didn't lose very much um, so what was put back in obviously it needed it but um, that's it so that's uh, project beige girl for today now runs and drives so tomorrow or Sunday whenever we'll do do the headlight put the headlight um, tabs on the new tabs get those all done get it cleaned inside we will next week take it down and get the wheels alight the wheel alignment done because it's obviously going to need laser alignment now that's been done which is good um, and then apart from a new MOT of course we've got the wing I still can't get a wing in colour so I'm going to um, I'm just going to order one to to code and uh, and get one of those we've got a couple of little tiny little bodywork bits to do on those the two seals that you know about I need pulling out very very slightly uh, and that's it apart from a good clean up it'll be done so we'll uh, we'll be back tomorrow to do that so that's it for today as you saw the car is all now running and driving I didn't take it very far because just the end of the drive so it's got like obviously a white wing on it that's hanging on by a thread um, so yeah top of the driver is good enough just so I know it, where it goes backwards and forwards and it's now parked up in the drive I've done a little bit of work on it th today it's the next day by the way now it's um, it's Saturday now so I did a little bit of extra work on it today um, which will be coming up in a future video uh, I've been asked to um, do a shout out to Martin in Appledore Appledore in Kent I believe that is not too far away from me hi Martin thanks for uh, thanks for watching thanks for subscribing in fact thanks to everybody for, that subscribed as I always say it's um, I, I do appreciate you subscribing uh, most people aren't subscribers that are viewing we'll go over the analytics on a future video actually because it's always interesting to um, see what percentages are male and female as we did before obviously it's virtually everybody's male uh, apart from a few um, but it's interesting to see where you know age ranges where you come from and so on and so forth so we'll go through that on a future video um, but for the time being um, I think that's about it uh, about half an hour ago I had a young lady came around who, who's got a 500 street um, she's a friend of someone who I sold one to about 18 months or so ago she had a couple of issues um, she'd broken her door mirror and she would bought a new one on eBay but uh, she needed to put her silver uh, back cover onto it so I've done that for her uh, she's also got uh, an issue with her bumper where it looks like the the bumper brackets broken uh, when someone's done some work on the car they've not obviously yanked the bumper off I would imagine and then they've broken the clip so it's hanging out a little bit at the front so I've got to do that for her uh, she's also got the middle vents are broken uh, I've got to put a new one of those on for her and also her steering wheel her power steering button on the coloured dash her ex-boyfriend punched it and it is broken uh, so I've got to put a new set of switches in for her as well so she's coming on Thursday to do that she's going to leave the car with me while I, I, I do that um, and I'll probably film it as well actually uh, it's a nice little car 62 plate a bit dirty but I might give it a clean for her as well while I'm at it um, so yeah so that's it for now so again thanks for watching um, thanks for your subscribing if you haven't subscribed I'd really appreciate it if you did hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos and we will see you back in a couple of days.